Hey, what's up, guys? So, I guess the big, or oh, what everybody's kind of waiting for in the entertainment industry is tomorrow, uh, the Pottermore website that is currently up will release its major announcement. Um, of course, Harry Potter, meaning J.K. Rowling, is supposed to make an announcement sometime early tomorrow uh, about her new project, whatever it is she, that she's doing. People are thinking it could be another Harry Potter book. Uh, even though Dan Daniel Radcliffe, the guy who plays Harry Potter, says he does not know what's going to be in this project. He says he doesn't uh, he doesn't plan on doing any more Harry Potter films, which, of course, I mean, he's played it for a decade. I mean, I think he's pretty much... I think everybody's put it behind them that they're not going to be in any more Harry Potter films. But um, I have a suspicion. Like This is my gut feeling on what's going to happen. It's going to be a book, but it's not going to be a Harry Potter book. It's going to be in the Harry Potter universe, but it's just going to be another story. I mean, there are tons of other wizards and witches and, you know, new new generations. You know, there's more kids at Hogwarts. I mean, life does go on. Or maybe we're taking a step back and maybe we'll see something like the earlier days of Albus Dumbledore or something. I have no idea, but um, I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. Harry Potter universe, but it's not going to be Harry Potter. It's going to be a, a brand new story uh, with um, new characters. Um, or maybe like a prequel to maybe like the rise of Lord Voldemort or um, the rise of Albus Dumbledore or whatever. And um, in, in comic book news, it looks like uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, will be killed. And uh, the Green Goblin is will kill him and it will the result of this will kind of return Peter Parker as a new a new arachnid superhero in a series called Fallout and you know it's very it's very very dangerous to kill off a major character and then bring them back and like it has worked before um if you remember back in 93, 94, they had the um, Superman Doomsday storyline in which Superman met his demise. And then, like, months following after his death, um, you, had three, you had three superheroes kind of rise up, try to take his place. And then there was this fourth, it's like a fourth Superman, because that's what all these superheroes did. They, they were kind of trying to replace Superman and try to fill that void. And the fourth one was actually a robot or an android or a cyborg, whatever you want to call it, and kind of was you know, some short circuited and you know, started killing people. And then Superman comes back, and you know, after being suspended animation, because you know, you really can't kill Superman while he's under uh, the yellow sun, so. so it's very dangerous to put to make a superhero like that of that caliber and kill him. And then bring them back. So it's it's gonna be interesting to see how they pull that off. And um, so that so that's gonna be very interesting. And the last thing was you know today I just had a long day. And so I went to Culver's, which is right next door to where I work. Where I work, ordered a meal, sat down. I was eating, and there was a there was a group, you know, two booths away or whatever. And then this group got done, you know, after a little bit. And this guy kind of gets up and goes, oh, so you just got off work? Didn't have a clue who this man was. But I'm like, oh, yeah. And he goes, long day? And I'm like, yeah, it was a long day. But, you know, I'm just sitting here and my mail. And he's like, oh, you like Culver's? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I like Culver's. And he goes, yeah, I like it too. And and it was like a, just a random person having a nice, you know, nice conversation, you know. You know, it just... There's something unique about how, how friendly people can be sometimes. Every time you see in the news, you, you, it's like you hear about a bombing or you hear about a murder or you hear about, you know, the wars and blah, 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 blah. And then there, there are moments like this where it shows, you know, there are still nice people out in the world and you don't have to know anybody to be friendly. You can just strike up a random conversation. And I actually found out that they, the group that he was with, uh, they're like a like a summer league soccer team from Alexandria, Alexandria here, and they had won their game today, three nothing. So, uh, congratulations to uh, that soccer team for winning their game, and surprising enough to get that game in, considering all the rain we had today. But they said, he said that they got the um, uh, 
the game in, like right after it rained, and then as soon as the game ended, it started to rain again. So, but anyways, congratulations to that team, and you know, it's just very interesting to see that you know, in just some random, in the complete randomness of how friendly people can be sometimes, especially when the media throws all this you know, uh, war and hate and you know. I'm not, not I'm not saying the media is bad or anything, but um, uh, sometimes they 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 stick they tend to stick to more of the uh, the violence in the world rather than they look on on the good and but you know I guess they need to have ratings so they can keep their jobs. But you know, anyways, so that was that was my day, and tomorrow. I should be able to get it on the camcorder, you know, and get it in high def. But um, it's another. I have another weird schedule tomorrow, so uh, it could be on the webcam again. But we'll see what happens. But um, anyways, guys, that's it for this vlog, and I will see you tomorrow.